when David was anointed, his brothers were mocking, they were hating him, they were angry, and they're wondering, wh why him? Right. Why is he anointed with the horn of oil? And there's a rabbinic commentary that says when Samuel finally obeyed the Holy Spirit and he, and he took the horn of oil to, in, to, to pour the oil upon David, he didn't have to pour the oil. The oil jumped out of the horn upon David. It was a supernatural uh, event that took place because God had God had chosen David. Yes. And and it, it and it happened in the midst of tremendous rejection. I mean, he had to comfort himself in God and make God his heavenly Father because his earthly father Yeshai or Jesse could not could not play that role. And but he learned how to put all of his confidence in God. And his life never got easier. It got no. harder and harder and harder, even rejected by his closest confidence, confidants. But even through it all, he learned how to encourage himself. And the bay window had, was full outside of irises. And when I went past him one morning, he said, son, I want you to sit down on the sofa and just behold those flowers. And I just sat down and I was, I started saying their name out loud, Iris, Iris, Iris. And out came, I rest. Wow. I rest. He said, son, you're going too fast. If you'll slow down and just be with me, you would become everything I created you mm. to be. And I looked at those flowers. Not one of the flowers were sweating. <laughs> Not one of them looked like they were stressed out, <laughs> unless you don't water them <laughs> like us. But uh, I just saw the, uh, uh, a revelation of the Lord that he, he just wants to slow us down and make sure we're resting in his Father's love for us. He was releasing that desire for people to cry out and hunger. And you know, in Gideon, the book of Judges, the Lord talks about the Gideon 300 army. And many years ago, the Lord said to me, I'm going to be raising up a Gideon 300 army. And he said, I was gonna be a part of it. I thought that was gonna be 20 years ago. <laughs> That's for now. Cause it, it just, and no matter how I tried, it just wasn't, you know, taking root. And so now, in the year of Hebraically, we're entering into, we are in the year of 5783. And one of the words, one of the studies for that year, or 5783, is the book of Judges with Gideon. Yes. And, um, and God is raising up a Gideon 300 army, and that's what he needs. He needs the remnant that have a hunger. It's not the majority. It's the people that have a hunger that are crying out for breakthrough and know their God, and they will do great exploits for the Lord. What we found in, what I found in my life was you don't, God's got a huge call on your life, whatever it is, whoever you are, God has a call on your life. And we're all looking for our purpose, we're all looking for the big picture, but it's the little steps of obedience that will lead to the tipping point that starts your purpose. Yeah. And for us, we had to just be obedient to teach a small group. Yeah. You know, I had to be obedient all my life in just serving the church yeah. and doing what He called me to do. I started a small group. I didn't want to speak. I didn't speak in front of people yeah. until that point, right? <laughs> And then that led to, you know, starting a church. And then that's led to all the other ministries that I do around the world. So you just don't know which step of obedience is that tipping point that really catapults you forward. So it's just important to be obedient in all of it. I always encourage people to take a step outside of where they're living for a period of time just to dictate who do they want to become. Yeah. And who do they want to become with God. Because yeah. that's more important, is to be able to have that intimacy with God. Because a lot of times we can get so caught up in what we're doing in our everyday life yeah. that we become clouded and we lose hindsight of what's important. Yeah. So just to be able to spend a short period of time and reconnect and reground myself and understand who I am in Christ. That is what's most important yeah. out of anything else. Just just being alone for a period of time. Yeah. You know, whether it's going to Israel, whether it's going, you know, anywhere outside of the country. Yeah. Just just being able to spend that alone time.